Hello, everybody. Matt McCord here, and uh, time for U.S. Metal Volume uh, 1242. <laughs> so, uh, I found some VHS tapes and uh, some clips on it, and uh, that's what I'm doing. It's going to be Volume 1 of uh, Found Treasures. We've got... Uh, like the dots are mastermind, you know. I've I've done these songs so many times with so many different lineups. Um, the first one is from a gig we did in 1992 with Scott Spencer on drums. Dean Dean said, "Come on, let's go. I'll come pick you up. Let's go." So we played in Eugene at a place called Harpo's, and uh, that night there was a guy there. Henry Vestine from the first band I ever saw live, and that was Canned Heat, the boogie band. I was 11 years old. They were in uh, the Paramount, and uh, Bill Hoffman and I went. I had a black eye. This guy named Randy Cook was wanting to fight me <laughs> because I was friends with his friend. And uh, <laughs> it's like a Wonder Years episode. So at basketball practice, Randy Cook comes in. Everybody's, oh, my God. They leave. And so I'm just in the locker room. And I'm trying to get out fast. He's a year older than I am. I think he's going to, he's all kind of a hard ass, going to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned to get out of the place, and I bump into the corner of a, a door jam. <laughs> I gave myself a black eye. <laughs> but... Uh, I, I digress. Uh, Henry Vestine was a great guitar player from a great band, and, you know, you might not know him, but Kent, he was a big influence on me. I love them. And, uh, well, we're playing a, a Dr. Mastermind song, and uh, Kip Dorn is on guitar uh, on almost on a lot of these things. We've got Kip Dorn on guitar, Kurt James on another one, and uh, Michael Brown. And uh, another lamp. The drummers are Scott Spencer and uh, Pete Hall, Pete Lofman, and um, he is a great drummer. He played all the stuff just like Dean, and of course Dean in the Mrs. Beasley's Nightmare with John Donnelly on bass, and uh, it was just kind of fun to watch all these videos. And I picked a couple songs. Or you just, you'll know it's the same song a couple times. So. Uh, Check it out. Visit usmetal.com, just like the hat says. And uh, help me out. Buy a T-shirt or a, a, a hoodie and uh, or a CD, and uh, that would really help me out. So um, I'll talk to you uh, in a couple songs. Oh, yeah. We, this one is at Harpo's. We've got one from Cable Access Studios, another one from Cable Access Studios. And... Uh, yeah, actually, the first one is a, a TV show that we did on my cable access show in 1999 with Michael Brown and Pete Lawson. And, uh, wow. <laughs> if the base is purple, it's after, it's, it's later on. I had it painted. It was red before. And, uh, well, hey, man. It's just, you know, good old music. If you know my music, you'll you'll know the songs, Dr. Mastermind, There's a Few Wild Dogs. And the last bit is uh, the best lineup I've had of the Wild Dogs. We call it Evil Genius, but no promoter would book us. So I, we showed up to the show, and we were booked as Wild Dogs. We were opening for uh, Dokken and Great White. I just as soon forget Dokken. He could have been called Dickin, but uh, that's the end of the story. Here we go, Rome, and I want to thank the Shane, the Clown Prince of Monkey Fur, for hosting a show, and uh, I'll see you later.
Ron, this is Dean. Kids, this is Dean. <laughs> My name's Matt. I think I've met you someplace before. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, you folks on TV land, saddle up, boys and girls, for a new show of U.S. metal, the best punk, metal, and metal punk show in the Northwest. Tonight, we have a special guest here with you. The evil Dr. Mastermind will be here, ladies and gentlemen. We have all kinds of stuff to catch up on. The Motorhead show we all went to backstage, Mavacourt and the Clown. We're going to rock your asses off tonight, and then we're going to turn it back to you boys, and we're going to hit some, this song is called Domination. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it out there. In
Scott coming back here to say goodnight because uh, that's all we got for tonight. And uh, that was, I think, our first show at uh, the Mount Tabor Theater as Wild Dogs opening. I think we opened for um, Tommy's band, the uh, the Black Sabbath tribute, War Pigs. That was a fun night. And uh, <laughs> they're all fun. But I had that Explorer bass. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please visit usmental.com. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you can email me from the site. And uh, I'm still, I'm doing pretty good. This is pretty much uh, three months to the day that I got out of the hospital with a stroke. So my mouth still doesn't want to cooperate. But my hands are doing good. My uh, right hand, it's weird. My right hand didn't work that as well. My left hand wanted to play just like normal. My right hand says, hey, wait. Wait up. <laughs> so uh, I just finished seven song ideas on my recorder this week. And uh, yeah, we'll make in progress. Sunshine is coming out, killing my eyes, but <laughs> so are these lights. So... Uh, my Matt McCourt from the Wild Dogs and Mayhem and Doctor Mastermind, you know, a local, a local has been. <laughs> so uh, I love doing cable access shows. So thank you very much for watching. And I'm I'm surprised at how many people call me and say, "Hey man, we saw you on TV again." And uh, well, guess I got nothing better to do, right? <laughs> I can take up a bad habit, but I can't afford it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.